Yeah, it's exciting. 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 Yeah, it's yeah. Got a few semis and quarters uh, regularly, but uh, you know swings are roundabouts in sport, and uh, you know, we've had to develop uh, a squad. And uh, you know what's quite impressive, I suppose, is uh, the speed at which the squads developed that. Well, I used to use hundred percent. Personally, yeah, 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 chef. Because uh, very happy with the way rehab went and uh, good medical setup here. Um, no setbacks at all uh, when I was rehabbing, and uh, it was great to get out and. Uh, Play some rugby last weekend, that was ideal for me. You've been yeah. involved in some big Leicester scaleless games. Well, what were your memories? I know pretty bad weapons, but. Uh... So, yeah, no, but uh, yeah, I have some fond memories as well. I've enjoyed uh, most of the games against Leicester. Uh, they're always tough affairs, you know, challenge you as a person. Uh, you, know, you, you know, they're very well drilled side, you know, show, showing that this year again. Physical presence, they play a different brand of rugby to us, uh, you know, and they're very good at it. So it's. Uh, a bit of conflict of styles really in the weekend. You were a young man in 2002, but... Oh, so I, I look forward to that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you're still... <laughs> so, yeah, a bit older now, yeah. You remember the emotions, though? Yeah. 2002, yeah, yeah, it's great. Uh, I enjoyed... We played them in our group as well that year. Yeah. It's great. Um, big games, you know. Most of the pack that year was England pack, and England were dominant at that, at that period. It was, it was good to play against them, you know. You, you want to play against the best. As a player, these kind of occasions, you know, do you Great, say, they're excited. I'm speaking, of, you know, Simon needs to be this week, and you know, you always, I suppose, as coaches and players, you try and have an uh, intensity and enthusiasm every week or every day when you work. But uh, there's something about the, the, the big European fixtures where things just look after themselves. You know, there's an excitement there, there's a nervousness there, and it's, uh, you know, you carry that all through the week. What do you learn from the first game against in the season? Because that was probably you have two. Yeah, I think defeats this season. That was one of them. And what do you take from that, or can you take anything? Uh, no, we can because you know, yeah, we got put put on the canvas. Let's be honest, in, in boxing terms, the first time it happened to us this year, second time was in a league game then against in, against the Ospreys. But uh, you know, what was important then the following game was right. What lessons do we need to learn? And let's learn them quickly because we then played the Blues away from home and won, and won that game. Um, don't get me wrong, you know, we've still got lots of aspects of the game we need to improve on, but as long as we're, we're taking things from each game, and you know, I think when you lose, uh, it's a bit of a steeper learning curve, should we say. And uh, that definitely identified or highlighted parts of our game that we need to work on. You just talked about the packing material, not being able to shy away from the physical confrontation, Steve. As a player, you want that, then to do that, obviously. Well, of course, and uh, you know, I think it's going to be a physical battle, obviously, up front. Uh, you know, as a back line, we've got to be good defensively as well, you know, they got, you look at the big carriers behind, we, we can't allow them to get big game lines to get their forwards into the game, so, you know, we, we've got our job to do, you know, Saturday defensively, make sure we're smart and well organised. Mm. So I just bang on about your age again. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez, this is discrimination. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 Now, you know, yeah. your experience and your age, because it is such a young yeah. team, yeah. it's obviously a responsibility you feel, you know. Do you know, it is, it, I don't know if it's responsibility is the word. You know, it, it's fantastic uh, as a player when you come to, I don't you even call this place work, but you come to a train and you've got all these young guys who want to get better, who want to play for the region and you know want to play for Wales. It's, it's a great place to be as a senior player, to be part of that. And, um, you're sort of energised and you know excited by that. How important do you see your role in that, Steve? Because it's obviously... People will look at iconic figures at this place down the years. They've always been them, but you are seen as it, especially by the yeah. English journals here and all that yeah. kind of stuff, as a guy who would you, you represent say, that tradition. I know it's you know I I, I you know, enjoy what, what I do. So uh, you know that it's, sometimes it can be you, you have to be quite hard as a as a player and like you know not maybe back because that's the wrong you know you, you try and develop the boys technically, but you try and try standards as well and you know because. Because we're progress, progressing all the time, we've got to accept that what's good enough now, you know, is not where we want to be. We have to mm. keep moving forward, and you know, I think that that's a role maybe of a, of a senior player as well. Stephen, yeah. um, that's so formidable at home. Yeah. 
away this year, they've not been so good. Boston, Perpignan, only just one in Treviso. So they've mm. tried Premiership, they haven't got lost their first four games away. Does that, you know, does that give you sort of heart after... Well, obviously, you know, uh, we got faith in our, our ability. You know, we learnt uh, some good lessons from Welford Road. Uh, we enjoy playing here. We've been pretty decent at home here this year. Um, you know, I think it's it's good ingredients for a cra cracking game, isn't it? And you know, we respect Leicester. You know, they'd obviously be focusing in on this game, it's a huge game. Um, but um, we're looking forward, very much looking forward. They'll be mindful of what under London Irish here last year. Well, yeah. When they were going well. Yeah, and uh, even during the course of the game, they were going well, and we managed to uh, close them up with a couple of tries at the end. So, yeah. It's a clash of styles. It's sort of typically Wales v England, sort of, you know. The yeah, it's just exciting. You know, let's be honest, they're very good at the way they play. Um, probably uh, more of a simpl simplistic game plan to the way we play. Uh, they use their forwards a lot, a lot more to, to ball carry. We. We, we pass a lot more. That's just the way we play, and uh, you know we got to try and impose our style on them rather than them controlling the game uh, in the way in which they want to play. So it's, it'll be interesting. Is there anything you could tell the youngsters about how they how to deal with it? You know, because it's going to be intense. So don't you do that? I, th I think the excitement and enthusiasm uh, in that aspect will look after it itself. The big challenge for us is out there on Saturday is to keep thinking and not let emotions get in the way of. Our game plan because if we're going to get into a, a physical, simplistic battle with Leicester, then mm. we're going to come off second best, and uh, you know we, we've got to keep thinking all the time and play in the areas where we think we can we can try and uh, get the better Leicester.